Hey everybody, so even though it's really hot outside, that's not going to stop Texans from firing up their grill because you know how much we love to barbecue. Yeah, but you might be thinking like, you know what, these jeans are a lot tighter than they were at the yes. beginning of the season. So if you're thinking, I, I'd like some healthier options here, we have the perfect solution. We have mm -hmm. Diana Guevara, who is a nutritionist over at UT Health Houston School of Public Health. So you have some traditional favorites mm -hmm. that we know and love, just make it a little bit healthier for us. So let's start with your burger. Yes. Absolutely. So this is our blended burger. It's actually from our cookbook. So it still has that ground beef. It's going to have that meaty taste. But we just umped up that nutrition with uh, some black beans, give it a little bit more texture. And then the secret ingredient that I think really makes this a great burger is actually ground up and mushrooms. Ooh. So finely minced. That's going to uh, keep that uh, moisture in that burger, so it's going to be a lot easier to cook and yeah. a lot harder to overcook. So it's, it's like has meat, but yeah. just less meat. Yes. Okay. Yes. So and what did you do? Like a tasty. third of the meat, a third beans, a third yes. of mushroom. So we did three quarter oh. pounds mm -hmm. for four patties. So you still get a three ounce serving of that ground beef, and it's 90 10, so a little bit lower in fat. Yeah. Um, it's going to still be really tasty, and uh, you still get that meaty taste. It looks too. beautiful. And speaking of appetizing, yeah. this is the most beautiful salad <laughs> I've seen. There's so so much color to it, so much flavor it looks yes. like. What's in this? Yes, so I wanted to show kind of if you're wanting to do more of a weeknight grilling, uh, I wanted to show a great option. So this is our grilled shrimp, grilled watermelon. So we don't think to grill our fruit, but it mm -hmm. can be a nice way to just make things a little bit more fun, get y'all to get a little bit more of that produce in. Uh, we have an arugula salad, a little bit of shaved Parmesan, some thinly sliced. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like is this, is this edible or did you do this last night? I made it last was. night. Okay, okay. So <laughs> it I, 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 will, I won't try it then, right? Or can I try the watermelon? It or? is safe. You're welcome you, to try safe. it. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, I want to try it because I've never had yes. grilled, grilled watermelon, watermelon yes. before. Right. Doesn't that look good? You even and have it's like, refreshing too in the heat. Yes, it yeah. can help you stay hydrated. It's got some paprika, it's got some olive oil, so a lot wow. of flavor in there too, some garlic. So it's a little bit of sweet mm -hmm. and savory going on in there. That's a gorgeous looking salad. Okay, and what do you have here? at the end. Yes, so typically when we're having that barbecue, you know, if you don't want to give up your meat, that's totally fine. But what about the sides? Can we make the sides a little bit more fun? So this is just some very simple grilled summer squash and peppers. And then what makes this really special is this herb sauce on top. So it's got dill, it's got parsley, it's got basil. Mm, so lots I of bet great, that's good. very, very bright, refreshing herbs. And then the squash, we just grilled with olive oil. So very, very simple, super easy to make as well. Right. So and you're kind of just sneaking it in. Yeah. Yeah. You could do this inside too if you are not yes. a grilling person. You yes. could make the same thing just inside on the oven, the stove. Yes. Uh, so I will admit I did not go outside to grill. <laughs> we used, used a grill pan. So yeah. you can get a grill pan, do it inside. You mm -hmm. don't have to go outside and get hot. And you still get those beautiful grill marks. If you wanted to do the sauteed or roasted, you could as well. Now you mentioned the cookbook. Is that something we can get our hands on? Yes, absolutely. So uh, it's on Amazon. It's uh, called How Good Food Works. So you can just look it up. Um, but it was written by some chef dietitians at the Nourish Program, so you know it's going to be really mm. bright, flavorful, plant-forward, yeah. uh, delicious yeah. recipes. And yeah, and you can also go to nourishprogram.org mm -hmm. to go to our website and get it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for coming in, Diana. This is honestly really delicious. It was Good. very un an unexpected flavor. Okay, yeah, because you put some, yeah, with the grilling and then you put some <laughs> uh, spices on yeah. there too, yes. so we can mix it up and mm -hmm. bump up the flavor, yeah, but have, not, but cut down fun. on the calories. Yeah. Yep. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Absolutely.